Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you how to validate your select list or drop down list in ASP.NET Core. So um, first of all, uh, design a model class uh, with the uh, two property that is ID and the product's name. So uh, the name is the products and the enumeration list we can uh, add uh, in our projects. So uh, the product is the name uh, enumeration. So product, oops, the P is capital, yeah. Now after that, uh, we can add uh, some products in the product uh, enumeration. And uh, just after that, we can design um, uh, controller, that is the test controller. After that, we can then generate the views uh, like this. But must to add the bind required property, oh, sorry, bind required attribute data notations, you can say. Uh, in just before the ID property because uh, actually uh, I validate the drop down list uh, with the ID property okay so uh, uh, add a new controller and templates that is product list oops the create section template is the create and the product list okay and and now after that uh, uh, just remove that uh, ID property from the list um, because there is no need and uh, input ASP4 uh, input is uh, replaced with the select list and ASP4 is used for the ID property because uh, I want to set uh, validations uh, over ID property so ASP items HTML dot getting in a select list that is product and uh, form class is uh, similar now after that remove and add a single option uh, in the select list option oops option group option oops yeah uh, one option with the value is uh, empty and uh, you can add uh, some text uh, in the options also use hidden disabled and selected and uh, ASP validation for is used with the ID property and uh, now save this and run it without any text in the option if you uh, getting with the select empty test index there is no value so that is the post without any error without any validations occurs so first of all add a option that is select product okay select product now after that you can run it okay so now use test index select product yeah a value for the id property was not provided so it's a validations actually thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all others thank you very much